What's up guys, it's Coach Drew. Today I'm gonna to help you guys find the perfect pocket for you. So one of the big things I always talk about is it's more important to perfect your shot than have the perfect shot. And the reason is because everybody's body is built differently and you ultimately want your shot to be comfortable, confident, and consistent. And so if you have those three things, I have, think you have the ability to become a great shooter if you put in the time to work on it daily and perfect those mechanics and ultimately get enough reps to master your shot. Now, saying that, how do you find where the perfect pocket is? How do you find what the perfect mechanics are for you? Because if you look at the best shooters in the world, they all have different shots. Steph Curry starts with his hand a little bit on the side and the ball kind of lower. Klay Thompson kind of has that perfect kind of textbook form right here. KD shoots from the ball from kind of over here. And then you have other shooters, especially a lot of lefties, you know, like D'Angelo Russell that actually shoot on the other side of their body. So what's right, what's wrong? Ultimately, there's no such thing as the perfect shot. What's the most important thing is that you perfect your shot so that you have the ability to make shots when it comes game time. And while we want kind of certain things to happen, we want the ball to spin perfectly every single time, we want to have good balance on our shot, we want to be able to you know, finish with high arcs so that ultimately the ball has you know, a good drop angle for more room for improvement. Those are things that we want, but it doesn't ever tell us how to get them. So what we want to do is we want to reverse engineer our shot to help us perfect our shot. So saying that, here's what I do, a couple tests. The first thing I do is you wanna test kind of your wrist flexibility out. So you put your hand straight out, I'm a right hand shooter, you spread your hand, and then you just go back. And you'll notice that good, you know, a lot of good shooters, they'll be able to go back without moving their hand. If maybe you struggle with wrist flexibility, you'll notice that your hand kind of and your elbow move together, or if it crinkles up, you'll notice that that means you're probably gonna to have to move your hand, elbow out a little bit more because you're not gonna be able to get your hand perfectly flat. So again, if you go like this and go back and can get it to close to 90 degrees, then you're probably gonna have the ability to really have a good platform. If you go like this and it crinkles up or your elbow kind of buckles, notice that your elbow will have to probably come out a little bit on your pocket. Okay, that's a good kind of initial test. Second thing you wanna do is reverse engineer it. We want to make sure that our hand is in the middle of the ball at the point of release. So just put your hand up, let your platform be right there, and notice that right now is where we want the ball. If it's over here and the ball is pushed right here, we notice that the ball is not gonna roll off of these two fingers, which is not gonna impart perfect backspin on the ball. If the ball is over here resting kind of on our other hand, again, the exact same thing, we're gonna end up snapping it in the wrong direction. So we wanna have our hand kind of perfectly in the middle at the point of release. So we start from there. And then all we do is simply drop the ball. You'll notice that for me, my elbow's a little bit out, which is not scary because your elbow is just there to give you power. So your elbow starts low and finishes high. The difference in where it starts and where it finishes, that just adjusts the power. So don't worry about if it's you know, right here, because if it's right here, notice now the ball is leaning on this side, that wouldn't be good for me. If I had a little bit more flexibility, maybe I'd be able to do more like Clay Thompson to be over here. But for me, my shoulder is kind of a little bit tighter. So now what I did was I moved the ball in, which doesn't scare me because when I go up, I get the ball at the perfect kind of release point, which is what we're after. You all also notice that you never want your elbow to go from in to out on the shot. So you'll see a lot of bad shooters, they maybe start in, and as they go up, their elbow flares out. What that's gonna do is that's gonna manipulate the ball and it's gonna cause kind of uh, you know, inconsistencies in your mechanics, which is gonna ultimately lead to inconsistencies in your results. So you always would rather move your elbow from out to in. You never wanna go past kind of right here. So this is your frame. You never want your elbow to go inside your frame right here because then it's gonna be a lot harder to shoot in different directions. You know, it might be easier going to your weak hand because now you can kind of really line it up, but if you're going to your strong hand, you're gonna really struggle because you're gonna have to twist and turn, which is something that we don't want. So. Going back to the original topic, going up top, starting here, reversing it down wherever it feels comfortable. If you're strong enough to shoot from your eye pocket, what you wanna do is basically have your pointer finger right where your shooting eye is. That's kind of an ideal pocket because now everything's in line and you have a vision triangle so you can see I have vision underneath the pocket to see the rim. You don't wanna have the ball right here where you're blocking your vision because then ultimately if you can't see the target, it's gonna be hard to make it every single time. If you struggle with enough power, so say you're right here, you're younger and you can't shoot from up here with consistent power, then all you do is continue to drop that pocket. So if I'm right here, I just keep going down, I move it below my face, and now I can start here, but you always wanna be on that same pocket line. We don't ever wanna to have to loop it, because again, the more that we're circling the ball, the more likely the ball is gonna circle in the air and not have that straight path 
that's desired every single time. So just start right up here, move it down, and ultimately you kind of want that pointer finger right above your, your eye. If you need to move it out a little more, that's totally fine. Just make sure you're at the point of release, your hand's in the middle of the ball, and if you need to start a little bit lower, that's fine, but don't start shooting from your hip. You want to get on that same pocket line, so if I go up to down, wherever my elbow goes, that's where I keep it, and then push it straight every single time so that eventually you can shoot it straight once you have the strength and power to do so with a balanced, good jump shot.